Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from It's Complicated. I haven't done a video for him in a while. Love the content creator. Love what he's been doing with the space and just his interviews. Are, his questioning is top notch. Top notch. Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get to that chat. It's chat time. Do you have more girlfriends or guy friends, and do you think that says something about you? I have more guy friends, and I, I don't know. It that might be toxic. Accent, pretty sexy. <laughs> I have a good amount of guy friends, but I feel like it always ends up with either someone liking each other or... Yeah, because you can't be friends. Yeah, It always gets complicated. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Do you think men and women can be just friends? Yes. Yes. But I think if you asked a guy... You just literally said it always gets complicated. Come on, ladies. <laughs> that they might say no. I hate to say it, but I think I have more guy friends too. And I don't think it's toxic. I just think girls do tend to start a lot more drama than guys. So maybe that's why girls hang out more with guys I do than the other that. way around. I, I girls, can you can have that. like your tea time, your girl time. You talk about your boys, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then with guys, you can be more chill, more like flirty, more. It's just a different kind flirty? of vibe than with. So you're going to be flirty with your guy friends. These women just leading men on and these poor ass simps just getting fucking this, like strung along. Girls, like, I feel like it's both different, but I'm definitely more of a girl's girl. Like, hands on, guys cheating, I'm going for the girls. Girlfriends. Girlfriends for sure. I feel like you can trust them more. Um, I'm kind of a mix because I feel like girls can be stingy so <laughs> why is it hard for some women stingy. to get along with other women competition attitude attitude girls are greedy envious jealous so women are fake women Perfect. are just haters women can be bitches and catty and judgmental <laughs> and judge you right off the bat why are women called bitches for acting masculine while men are called bitches for acting feminine oh that's a tough one <clears throat> Man, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, why are some women proud like, of being bitches? Fuck, I can't answer that. <laughs> okay. It, <laughs> it gets them that Louis bag, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna. It's good to be a bad bitch, like because no one will f with you. If you're too much exactly. of a submissive girl, no people are gonna step you. on you. But if you give off the bad bitch vibe, no one's gonna f with you. You're gonna get respect. Know your value and always add taxes. <laughs> Period. Isn't that the female version of toxic masculinity? It's absolutely it the, can yeah, be. It is. It is. They admit it. It is. <laughs> Call it what you want. They totally admit what it. What is a pick me girl and why is it considered a derogatory term? Um, the girl next to me is <laughs> a Shut pick me girl. It's when <laughs> girls try to change themselves to get guys to, to look like better them. in front of guys exactly That's so they pretend they person. like football and like stuff like that when they actually don't and sometimes like they're mean to other girls like put down other girls to make themselves look better in front of guys which isn't me the pick me girl is the one that would do anything to catch a man's attention they neglect what their boundaries are and what they care about just to try to get a man to want all morals up why do they all assume that these women neglect their boundaries they have boundaries they find good men to be wives to they ha like these men have to meet a certain criteria they're not just picking any men to just you know marry door just pick me pick me pick me no morals <laughs> Ooh, ooh is a no pick me morals. girl. Mm. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Them e girls is a pick me, like trying to be all flirtatious, voluptuous, and all this other good stuff. That's she needs all the guys to and like feel like okay with herself. And also, she. If that was the definition, that means almost every girl on Instagram is a pick me. Will put her friends aside for a guy. Again, which every is girl on Instagram. So. Would be Why a pick are women me? who please men shamed by other women? Because they're jealous. I think it's. Uh, I think a lot of like women on women hate is mainly jealousy. Yeah, I agree. I agree. and like insecurity. They most likely just can't get a man, so they shame the ones that actually please a man and treat him like a king. So they have so Damn much hate right. like against the passport bros. Ooh -hoo. A lot of women have hate against the passport bros, but they the same women to say they don't need a man or want a man, but they won't dick. So I'm kind of confused. Is there a pick me guy? Yeah, for sure. It's a simp, a white knight, a beta male. 
What determines when each gender competes versus cooperates? Well, that was a weird hat. I say more so, damn, um, the women compete, the men cooperate, I can say that. Competes, competes versus, versus cooperate. cooperate. <laughs> um, what is it called? Well, in other words, what are things that men do to compete for women? Um, flex. Ooh. Definitely Show flex. Their money. Who has the most money? Try to be funny, try to be big, try to be strong, try to be loud, try to be fast. What are the things women do to compete for men? Try to be pretty. Try to be loyal. Promiscuous. Show the body. Who has the bigger ass? And it's me. What are the things that men do to compete for women? Um, they show off their money. Yeah, I think um, money, like going to like the gym, showing their strength. Women really have no clue what we do. Just show off our money. What about getting the money in the first place, ladies? And like getting that nice body in the first place. Men work their asses off to get that money. It's not just flexing money. Strong showing that the It just shows how modern women and just modern generation just thinks of money nowadays. They are intelligent. I think they just put themselves out there. Whoever's yeah. the one that's gonna put themselves out there the most is probably the one. What are the things that women do to compete for men? Women go after guys that are already taken. If a man is taken and a woman sees that, he is 10 times more attractive than he already was, which is so sad. It really is. Is there more of a mutual brotherhood between men or a mutual sisterhood between women? Sisterhood between women, because you know, if two women have never met, but they're like drunk in the club and they vibe, you know, like, you know, it's like, I got you, sis, you know. You yeah, yeah, yeah. This is 100% correct. Doesn't matter who the hell it is, what the freak they did, or whatever hell, where they're at, or whatever happened, a woman's gonna defend them. I literally had this story happened yesterday. I was out with one of my girls, and there was two people that just blocked the the street because they it got into a fender bender. I was like, why the fuck are they in the street from a fender bender? Move your asses off the street before you get out of your car and take care of everything away from the street so you're not blocking traffic. I see an Asian guy walking around. That's one. And there's another girl in the car. I'm yelling at the Asian guy. And then my girl is like, well, you don't know the circumstances. She's in her car. She's on the phone. Maybe she's like... I don't need context for every situation because there's no need for it, right? Because they're fucked up. I don't care how she fucked up, why she fucked up. She fucked up. He fucked up. They're both in the middle of the street with their fender bender. They fucked up. That's it. I don't care about where everything else comes along or whatever it is. So stop defending her because I wasn't even really attacking her. I was more attacking the fucking Asian guy because he's the fucking dumbass walking around outside. And I'm like, he's the male. He should know better. Look out for each yes. other. Whereas men just automatically want to fight each other, yeah. I feel like. <laughs> if it's women, why is it often said women can't get along with other women? Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Guys will bond so quickly. Like you can see a guy on the street, and they would be like brothers for life, like this two can seconds, be, this, and then this girls can be true, would be yes. like, you have to compete at first, and then you can like become friends. Yes. It depends on survival mode. You know, if women are not in survival mode, then they're in competition mode. But when it comes to survival mode, women have each other's backs. I think. You know, regard regardless if she's a stuck up bitch. Right. If she's drunk, falling out exactly. the club, and some man's trying to get her in the car, I'm yeah. gonna like take. A girl up will her. always look out for yeah. another girl, no matter the circumstances. Even if we're fighting or whatever, I see you in trouble. Like I'm going yeah. and I'm no, looking out not. for you. Whereas I've I feel seen like men some don't girls really do, do that some for each dirty other. things to each other. Do you think it's true that men will insult each other and not mean it, while women will compliment each other and not mean it? Ooh. Yes. Yeah. So would that mean that men have more genuine friendships than women? I think men do have more genuine friendships. I agree. Yes, very much. Because like I said, women are haters. As soon as a woman walks off, she's going to find something wrong with her. Men are more nonchalant than girls, and girls take everything to heart. So like, if yeah. we were to be like, oh, like your shorts are a little too short or something like that, they'd be like, wow, so you think I'm a hoe? Guys will insult <laughs> each other day on... <laughs> oh, that was perfect. She said it. Oh, dude, she said it. We didn't say it. She did. <laughs> Day, and they'll just joke about it. Girls will obviously like compliment each other and not mean it. It's like the 
meanest thing that they could possibly say, but it's in the nicest way. And guys will never understand it. Do you think it's women true. are more judgmental than men? Absolutely. Um, I don't think so. I think men are more judgmental, definitely. I think women are very judgmental, but they're very secretive about it. Yeah. Girls just have more of a manipulative mindset. This is true. Men are much more straightforward. So if we were judgmental, we would just most likely say it. <laughs> Where women are like, mm. And guys just kind of are like, whoop. <laughs> true. So then what advice would you give to the men who don't trust women? Oh, well... <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like if you don't trust your girl, leave her, baby. <laughs> leave her. This is a tough interview. Yeah. What is? I thought this was gonna be like an easygoing little. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why do women seem that. to have a problem when women judge other women, but not so much when it comes to women judging men? Like I said before, women are very, very much haters. I like yeah, this I guy. Think everyone's pretty judgmental. It's not gender based. Are the things we judge people on natural or learned behavior? Learned, I think. Yeah. yeah. Why do women seem to have a problem when women judge other women, but not so much when it comes to women judging men? Ooh. Uh -huh. Damn, yeah. Wait, can you say that again? Like, why do women <laughs> judge men harder than we judge women? Because women support women. That's what I mean by sisterhood. Yeah, women supporting women. Because women are all queens. Yeah, yeah. Because we're queens, so we need to be valued with everything. And men are just... men. Period. Why don't the good, decent women of the world regularly call out or shame the trash women for how they treat men? Because all men are trash and everything that's going on in this world is men's fault. Do women see the hypocrisy of other women or is it more of a you go girl moment? So, I feel like it's sometimes. Sometimes I can see the hypocrisy, sometimes I can't. It, it depends. Maybe if I got a little drink in me, you feel me? <laughs> Do women ever see the hypocrisy in other women or is it more of a you go girl moment? You I feel go like, girl. Yeah, I feel like yeah. it is a more you go girl moment. Yep. It's definitely a you go girl moment. It's more of a you go girl moment. It's this is why women, this is why it's hard for women to take accountability. And this is why us men have to take accountability. Like with the Charles and White thing, like we have to take accountability on ourselves, right? If we are not taking accountability ourselves, how can we have expect women to be taking accountability? It's probably two out of a thousand women probably see the hypocrisy there. Everybody else is, oh, you go girl, full of shit. Do women enable each other's bad behavior and bad character? They like, can, for sure. I feel like girls can be bad influences, but at the same time, like, can no. I see the hypocrisy. Definitely. Do women enable each other's bad behavior and bad character? Yep. Yes. Do women enable each other's bad behavior and bad yes. character? Yes, absolutely. Why are men the only ones expected to police their own gender? Because that is what they set for themselves. I feel like in today's society, that's what men put on we their selves. That so ourselves? that's what people are going to do. I think that there's more of a stigma for men to do it because protect women mm. in that sense. So if your if your boy is being handsy and she's not reciprocating as positively as you know she should be, then call him out, right? Things like that. Men need policing. That's the thing because like I said earlier, they get away with so much because over the years men can do so much. JFK hooking up with Monica Lewinsky. Men can get away with so much. Uh, JFK Justin Timberlake. With they can just get away with Lewinsky? everything and they're never held accountable. You are totally off on those names. <laughs> it would be Bill Clinton with Monica Lewinsky and JFK with Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> right? And so that's why they need policing. Whereas women, we're always told like, oh, don't hook up. You're a slut if you make out with like one person. So it's like we're policed by society naturally, but men need their own men to police are we not themselves. Policed by society? Why are women able to unite and create a standard for men, but men can't unite and create a standard for women? Because we love bitches. <laughs> Girls are sensitive, so when it comes to like topics like that, they think that they're like judging them. But with guys, like guys are like, oh wow, so like if I do this, the girls will like me. Do you trust your man around other women? Yes. Yeah. Do you trust other women around your man? No. <laughs> if women don't even trust other women, why would they expect a man to trust women? That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point. Point, yeah. I just feel like women yeah. do it because they're insecure, so they want to see like if the guy will leave their girlfriend yeah. for them. Do you trust your man around other women? No. No. Do you trust other women around your man? No. No. If women don't even trust other women, why would they expect a man to trust women? Shit, I honestly have no idea. Why do women often talk about how they <laughs> secretly ah, run the world, but then also complain about how they are so oppressed? That's a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass. <laughs>
<laughs> I feel like it's because it's a man run world in the most part. Um, like just, I don't know, multiple yeah, don't years know. ago, we obviously couldn't vote or anything. So now that we can, it still feels like you're able to vote. No, this like guy's a lim hundred limit years ago. Because we, we won the world, girls. Who runs the world, girls? Um, because I think you said this before. <laughs> it's the same song. The worst threat is an unidentifiable threat. Does that sound like the type of behavior of somebody who can be trusted? No. No. <laughs> no. Do you think a woman would be welcomed at a woman's march if she's pro-life or has traditional values? Probably not, unfortunately. So do feminists really care about all women or just the women who agree with them? Probably the women that agree with them. Mm -hmm. I think feminists uh, more care about the separation of the household and family and they're going to be the ones that end up lonely and single when they're 40 and 50 and 60 when they're ready to settle, when they could have had a man they spent the rest of their life with and had kids with. Yep. So is it really about women's choice? Mm, that's a good one. No, it's not. We would like to believe so. So is it really? See, you would like to believe so, but you actually don't look at it objectively to see that it isn't. really about women's choice? It's about... Submit to women. Submit. Submit. <laughs> Submit. <laughs> uh, love, it's complicated. Great chow. I'm actually going to Vegas in like two weeks myself. I would love to see him there if he was there. But uh, yeah, I would love to do some interviews with uh, It's Complicated. He just, his, his line of questioning is just so superb, you know? His people are just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, wait. I never thought of that. <laughs> it's just so awesome. Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, catch you guys next time.